Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to design a contact form. We'll follow the following steps to achieve the same. In the first step, we'll add two plugins, namely CF7 and database, which will make it more convenient and efficient for us to add the contact form to our web page and interact with it. In the second step, we'll design the structure of our contact form by writing HTML code. Thirdly, we'll test if our database plugin is logging form data filled by users correctly or not. In the fourth step, we'll be writing CSS code to design the layout of our contact form. Lastly, we'll use WP code plugin to arrange our code. We'll be discussing the first three steps of this tutorial in this video, whereas the remaining steps will be discussed in the next video. So let's get started. As you can see, the first step is plugin installation. To add a new contact form page to a website, we'll mainly add two plugins. The first one is CF7. It will basically help us to generate the HTML code for a form. Whereas the database plugin will help us to manage the form data submitted by the users effectively and to arrange that data in a chronological order. To install the plugins, we need to go to the WordPress dashboard, then click on the plugin section. After that, we need to click on the add new plugin button to add the new plugin. And in the search bar, we'll type the name of the plugin we want to install, which is contact form 7 in our case. Then we'll click on the install now button to install the plugin. After installing, we'll also activate the plugin. As you can see, the contact form 7 plugin has been installed and activated. Similarly, we'll also add the database plugin. We'll type database in the search bar. We need to add the contact form 7 database add-on plugin. So we'll click on the install now button to install it. And activate it as well. So now as you can see, both of our plugins have been installed and our first step is completed. Moving to the second step, which is designing the structure of the CF7 form which is basically writing the HTML code to add various elements in our contact form. However, before doing that, we need to have an existing contact page on our website where we'll add the contact form. For that, we need to go to the WordPress menu and then click on the Pages section. Here, all the pages that have been published on our site will be displayed. As you can see, I already have a contact us page for my site so I don't need to add a new page. However, you can add a new page from the Add New Page button if you don't have one. I have used templates to design my contact page so that it looks professional and presentable. However, it doesn't have a contact form yet. For adding a contact form to my page, we'll be using the Contact Form 7 plugin that we installed in the first step of the tutorial. After installing the CF7 plugin, we'll notice that a new contact section has been added to our WordPress menu. And if we click on it, we'll see that the CF7 plugin has generated a default contact form for us. This contact form already has some default HTML code containing elements like name, email, subject input boxes, a message text area, and a submit button. On the top, you'll notice that the plugin has also generated a short code for this contact form. So we can copy this short code and go to our contact page. Now, if I click on the edit with Elementor option, and search for short code, I can paste the short code I copied earlier here and then update my changes and click on the preview changes button 
to see my updated page, you will notice that a new contact form has been added to my page. So from this, you can understand that the short code is just like a placeholder and it is replaced by the actual HTML code for our contact form when our page is viewed. Now, even though I have succeeded in adding a contact form to my contact page, but I still don't want to use the default contact form structure and want to create a new one which satisfies my site's requirements. Therefore, I need to go back to the contact form section on WordPress and delete the default HTML code and write the new one. I want to add input boxes for name, company name, email, phone number and a question text area to my contact form. So firstly, I'm gonna add labels for all of them and then I'll add the respective form tags below them. It is always recommended to use labels in our HTML code because it helps in search engine optimization and it also helps in designing the layout of our page more efficiently as we can use these labels as CSS selectors afterwards. Firstly, I'll add a label for the name input box. Starting with the opening label tag, then I'll give it a class as name. I'll give the heading as name to this input box. And then closing the label tag. Similarly, I'll add the labels for other form elements. I want to add company name also. Then email. Phone number. And a text area for a question or query for the user. As now I have added all the labels, now I'm going to take help of the tag generator tools provided by the CF7 plugin to add various tags to my form. So firstly, I'll add a text box for the name element on my form. So I'll click on the text button and then I'll give it a name as your name and default value as any default name. I'll write John Doe and I'll also use this text as placeholder. And then I'll give it an ID as CU name where CU stands for contact us and class also CU name. I'll also mark this field as required. And here you can see the contact form 7 plugin has generated a tag for me, which I can add in my form. Similarly, for the company name also, I can add a text box. I'll mark the company name as also required and give it a name as company name and default value as example inc dot and I'll be using this text as also the placeholder text and I'll give it an ID as CU company name and class also CU company name and then I'll click on the insert tag button insert my tag for email I'll click on the email button and give it the name as your email and mark it also as required and for the default value of the email I'm gonna write 
John Doe at example.com and for the ID I'll write it CU email and class also CU email now coming to phone number I'll click on the PEL which is telephone button and give it the name as phone number and mark it as required for the default value I'll add any made up number I'll be using this number as placeholder text and for the ID I'll write CU phone number and for the class also CU phone number inserting this as well and I'll add a text area for the quotient element so I'll click on the text area button and for the name I'll write quotient and for default value I'll be writing please write down your quotient and query here and I'll be using this text as placeholder I'll also mark this field as required and for the ID I'll give it ID as CEO quotient class CEO quotient as well Lastly, I'm going to add a submit button to my form. I'll give it the label as submit and ID as submit as well and class CU submit. Now the HTML code for my form is complete. You can even add more elements to your contact form depending on your design such as drop down menu, check boxes, radio buttons, etc. Now I'm going to save my code by clicking on the save button. Then I'll go to my contact page to check if my code works or not. So I'll refresh the page. And as you can see, now my contact form contains all the elements I included in my HTML code. So now our second step is also completed. Moving to the third step, which is testing the database plugin after the form submission. However, before submitting the form, we need to go to the additional settings section of our contact form and add a code snippet here, which is skip mail on, which will disable the mail sending functionality of our form since we haven't set up the mail sending settings of our form yet. We'll be adding and setting up this section in the next video. So now I'll save these settings. Now we can safely go to the contact page and submit our form to test our database plugin. And then I'll click on the submit button. So now I got the message, which is thank you for your message. It has been sent. So now I need to go to the WordPress menu and then go to the contact form section to check if my database is logging the form data or not. So here it shows that count is one, which means there is one entry of form data here. So I'll just click on it to open it. And here you can see all my information that I filled in the form is logged here, which means the database is working perfectly. So now our third step, which is testing the database is also completed. In the next video, we'll discuss the remaining steps for this tutorial, which is designing the layout of the CF7 form by writing CSS code. And finally, organizing our code with the WP code plugin. Enjoyed the video? Subscribe for more, hit the like button, drop a comment and share with your friends. Your support will be appreciated.